Hey guys, what's going on? Got a new one in today, and if you've seen my videos before, you probably think that a little bit of a CZ fan, and you're right. But uh, this one I've kind of wanted for a while, and then I kind of didn't. But uh, just kind of going through, you know, carry options again. So I decided that I really wanted to try this one out again, and uh, this one is from CZ Custom. So it's the CZ Custom PCR. And I mean, f I was really gonna go with uh, the P07 for carry, but I went back to this and was checking it out. I mean, it's lighter than the, the P07 and it's metal. I mean, you know, it's got the aluminum blower receiver, but uh, it's also thinner and I think it's a little shorter. So, it's like, well, why wouldn't I, I mean, it's a carry gun, why wouldn't I want smaller and lighter? So, I went with this one. I don't need the rail, and I mean, the, the P07 is 15 plus one rounds, this is 14 plus one, but, you know, when you're, when you're around 14, 15, you know, whatever. So, I got this one, and this is how it comes. You also get the target from CZ Custom. Uh, they're saying that the single action pull is four pounds and the double action is eight. You know, usually uh, the stock one's like five or six pounds and for single, and then the double action is usually like 10 to 12 pounds. But the last target I got, was, I think it was marked 25 meters. So this is probably what it's at also. So it's got the accuracy. So it comes with two mags. These are you know, CZ Mark magazines, but they're most likely Mekar. And they're really good mags though. I mean, never had any issues with them uh, ever in any of my CZs. So, like, uh, like this one. If you really wanted to, uh, about the I mean, I'll probably carry this as a second. This is from uh, one of my shadows. And you know, just like the Glocks. It'll fit in perfect. You know, a little overhang, but it doesn't matter. So that'd be 17 rounds in that one. But just to go over the gun, let's get this case out of here. And uh, put that one away. PCR. So what CZ Custom just takes a you know standard PCR off uh, from CZ, and the I mean the biggest things between this and uh, and the regular uh, C PCR is going to give an action job, and they're going to smooth out you know anything that really needs to be smoothed out. So you know on my uh, my P01 SDP Custom. Had a lot of filing and shaving on the on the barrel hood, and uh, just uh, to get everything out. And it's going to have a competition hammer. This instead of uh, stock one, it's going to be circular. This one is a squared off one, and it's also going to have an extended firing pin and the uh, the 2075 spring for the the pin. Also the stock. PCR has a stepped uh, trigger. This one comes with the CZ Custom 85, and it does not have the over travel screw on it. Uh, I know some of the older ones did. It also has the CZ Custom return spring on it, and it's going to have a uh, solid trigger pin. And the the original pins are, are usually the the coiled. And I don't know if they changed this one out or not. I think on my PCR it was. A solid pin. Let me grab my shadow. Yeah, well, I didn't have external pins on that. But I know on my P09, I changed that out to a coil from the stock one because they were having issues with uh, indenting and breaking. So I had to do a little more research on that one. I'm just gonna call Stewart on that. 
What else we got? Uh, this comes with a 13 pound mainspring. And it also has, instead of the plastic stock ones, they come with plastic guide rods. This one has a stainless steel guide rod installed. And usually, uh, CZ Custom Markets use it at three and a half pounds for the single action, and I think eight and a half for the double action. And I don't have a, a trigger gauge on me, but if it's four and eight, you know, I'm happy. So, yeah, this is obviously the decocker model with the, the D. So, decocked, here's the trigger pull. You got a little take up before a wall. And it's a little gritty right now, but it's, I mean, it'll smooth out. They all do. Every, like everyone I've had, the, my P01 has an um, insane uh, double action trigger pull. Uh, if you want to watch my video on that, I'll put a link in the description. And I mean, this one's not bad. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a tiny bit gritty, but it's it's really it's still a great trigger. And then the single action here. So you're gonna have a pretty long take up. And then you hit the wall, but that'll smooth out too. Just a little creep in the reset. It's gonna be pretty far, but it is a uh, you know self-defense pistol, and I can always can always do this the SRT triggers on these. I mean, really good trigger out of the box for it. And it's just, I know it's just going to get better. And uh, the SRT triggers, I mean, they, they take it up. I think they, they take the reset from like here to here already for for the double action. And uh, single action is even shorter. I think it's like a 30 or 40% uh, reduction. Don't quote me on it, but from if, I, if I'm remembering correctly... So, this one is going to go in the rotation after I'm going to go to the range, hopefully sometime this week. I'll try to do a video on it, but we have, uh, we have some stages set up right now uh, for some USPSA. So, we'll see what stages they come out, if I can do some videos. And I'm going to try to run 1,000 rounds through it that day, uh, just to give me a, you know, a really good idea of the, of the pistol. I'm used to them already, and I've been slowly changing. Like, uh, you know, my bedside gun is back to a, a CZ-75 model. Uh, it's, you know, SP-01 tactical. And then my carry, obviously going back to another CZ-75. And my competition gun is a, a Shadow 2. So, you know, even when, when I'm, whatever I'm shooting, it's pretty much... You know the, the same controls and manipulations as as my other guns so I don't have to you know less stuff to remember but <coughs> yeah this pistol is 27.5 ounces and I mean but it's it's really light like it feels great uh, you guys got any questions on it I'll try to do a more thorough review at the range uh, I appreciate it